This is a video on the truth, the sort of truth that most people can't handle because they don't like blunt people to tell them the truth. They want everything to be coated with um, rainbow sprinkles, you know, those things they stick on top of cupcakes. Trust me, this is about cameras. Just let me uh, tell just a really tiny short story here first. There are a lot of uh, YouTubers that are influencers and they'll get products in an early release. Um, when the Samsung Fold was uh, first displayed in a, a TV commercial, of course, it's an OLED display, which is insanely fragile, by the way. It's actually allergic to oxygen. There's actually a protective barrier all around it. And it's basically as thin as a sheet of paper. The Samsung Fold is a phone that was set to be released a few days ago, but it's since been recalled. God knows how many thousands of units they made. They'd actually show this phone opening up to actually create... By the way, you should really Google Samsung Fold and see the tremendous amount of news on that. When it was revealed in a commercial about it coming... The first thing that popped into my head is, is that won't work. That is, that, that's impossible. I mean, it actually works under a super ideal laboratory condition, but it is the fact that if you stuck the thing in your pocket, pocket lint would literally destroy the phone within a matter of hours. Now, most people's uh, phones last, you know, months, some people drop them, whatever, but I mean, that's user stupidity. But if you take decent care of it, a phone will last you a year or two. But this thing would self-destruct within literally hours. But that didn't stop a bunch of YouTube influencers from getting this phone, and I won't say who they are, telling everybody, well, this is just the best thing since sliced bread. You need to pre-order one of these things. I knew immediately when it was announced, like a half a year ago, that that won't work. That screen is more fragile than a newborn baby surrounded by broken glass. Just insanely, unimaginably fragile. And sure enough, um, a week or two before it was set to be released, um, some influencers got a pre-release unit to hype it up just before God knows how many thousands of units uh, were set to uh, ship and be delivered. And, oh, lo and behold, there were many people whose units self-destroyed within hours. There are some people that actually tried to peel the screen off, which they're not supposed to do. But uh, on several folds, uh, the actual center part, which, of course, you know, what, you know what happens when you fold a sheet of paper, you know, a few times? Exactly. You know exactly what happens. It would develop a, a bubble, you know, a crease, just like you would with a sheet of paper. And since that display is literally allergic to oxygen, yeah, they the units shut down, so. Um, here's a fact on camera reviews, now that I've gotten to the point. I guess that wasn't such a short story. Um, a person recently, and this is not about the person who threatened me, but the person who threatened me um, wanted to have a discussion with me because I'd made a few videos on the Nikon Z series of cameras. They have inferior autofocus and they have no possibility of a vertical grip and no serious professional would use a camera with one card slot. I stated that as a fact. I actually said the cameras are uh, made well in the, in the uh, videos that I made about the Nikon Z6 and Z7. They have really good output and they're actually made well. And they are. Some people actually get defensive about cameras, like you're talking about their children. And so this insane person, and of course, and I block this person immediately. I don't want to have a discussion with crazy people, especially people that threaten your life, literally, people that threaten your life. Um, the last email before I blocked this person that had threatened me was uh, a mention of two people. Let's say... One of those uh, people's first name was Joe, and another person was, well, a famous wedding photographer. Yeah. Why, these people, these people are, you know, they're famous photographers in their own right. Uh, I met one of them in photography school back in the early 90s. Why, that's, you know, they would never jeopardize their uh, professional photography careers um, using an inferior camera. This must prove... That these are, these 
these two people are Nikon ambassadors. You know? They're Nikon ambassadors. Their primary position is working for Nikon. Their photography career is second. By the way, everybody that does wedding photography, they will soon develop a hatred for it. And what they'll want to do is workshops. All these people that uh, become slightly famous in wedding photography, or photography in general, there is a lot less work, a lot more money, and a ton less stress by getting into sponsorship. Squarespace. Sponsorship. Or becoming affiliated with a particular camera brand because, you know, hey, I'm already a famous photographer, not meaning me, and I'm going to promote this camera. You, well, people, you know, have all these influencers out there. And of course, you know, like if a movie star recommends, you know, X type of face cream, the superficiality of a great number of people is that they will go out and purchase that face cream or whatever product it is. They're influencers. Nikon has people like that. So does Canon. I'm not actually singling out Nikon. But I mean, you're making a huge mistake if you're buying, and I'm not referring or picking on the Nikon Z series of cameras here. There are all these pitfalls. There are YouTube influencers, of course, who want to get paid. They love a generating content, which gets them paid. Two, posting affiliate links to these expensive cameras that they borrow. They don't actually invest in them. Might you buy them? It's like, you know, this is a great camera. I'm actually going to spend my own damn money on it and... And it's a great camera, and I'm going to talk about how it's a great camera. Yeah, I spent my own money on it, and I actually stand behind it. No. It's about borrowing the gear for a week, making a video, posting up some affiliate links. That's just really as bad as uh, taking advice from a famous photographer who is actually employed by Nikon. For example, example number three. Here's the other pothole on the road to buying a camera based upon illegitimate premise. I don't know, I really hate to pick on camera stores because camera stores don't really exist anymore, but, you know, Best Buy or camera stores, I mean, are you really taking their advice? I've had so many people email me stories about some of the crazy, insane, just bat crap crazy, smoking gutter crack. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Stories that people hear from uh, people in the photography section at Best Buy, which was no surprise to anybody, but I mean, people that work in camera... I know people that worked in camera stores for 20 plus years, and they haven't got a clue. I mean, they don't keep on... They're burned out, of course. They're, they're seriously burned out. When they go home, they don't want to see cameras. You know, they sit there and talk about, and you know, handle cameras all day long. There might be one person in a thousand that works in a camera store that has got a single clue in hell what the hell a good camera is, what to recommend based upon someone's needs. Everybody falls for these three pitfalls. Well, this guy's got a billion subscribers. He can't be wrong. You mean the person that's posting affiliate links and generating content to generate revenue who actually didn't buy the camera? I love it when the big YouTubers will hold up the camera and you'll see the bottom of it and it'll say, Rental unit. So they got plenty of money coming in, but they have so much faith in the camera they're recommending to you that they themselves won't buy the damn camera. Oh, but they'll rent it for a week. They don't actually pay for the rental either. They'll actually talk about the person that they rented it from at the end or the middle of the video. So I rented this camera from so-and-so. You know, I recommend you rent it. So they have no faith in the equipment that they recommend that you buy. You know, you should buy this. Click the link below, mate. I'm not going to buy it myself. I rented it. <laughs> really? It reminds me of this guy's wife. She was like 60 years old, and she was a PhD professor of pediatric care and had to take care of children. Yeah, she... For a fact, outside of her job, you know, when we were having dinner and talk, she hates children. She's never had any children. She never wanted any children, but she writes books. Uh, this is dead serious. She writes books about how to take care of children, child care, but she hates children. She's never had any children. Oh, but she's got a PhD in pediatric care. Well, her advice is perfectly valid. 
It makes perfect sense to take advice on child care from someone that's never had any children and hates children. That seems perfectly logical in a parallel universe with up and down and um, bullshit is wisdom. Before buying a camera, look at motives. Is someone an ambassador for a, com a company? Is um, someone telling you to buy a product that they themselves didn't freaking buy, they rented it for a week, and they're only generating content to generate revenue? Or is someone just trying to be helpful, kind of, but they're, they're basically an idiot? I recommend you buy this. How many cameras have you owned? Well, not many, but this is a great camera. You should buy it. Do you own it? No, I don't own it myself, but it's pretty expensive. It's a good camera. It just came out. It's got quadruplex autofo- <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> Why do people fall in these- Well, I know the answer to that question. Why do people fall into these potholes on the road to buying a decent camera? I don't care how good a photographer is. If they're an ambassador and they're a paid-for mouthpiece by a company, I don't, I don't give a damn how great their pictures are. The fact is, some of the best photographers out there, they, they, most of them anyway, don't really know anything about cameras. They're good photographers, great, great, awesome photographers. Doesn't mean I'm going to take their advice on buying a camera. I'm not going to buy advice by a camera off the advice of someone that's they themselves, they got plenty of money. It's not like they're poor, you know? I'm really saving to buy this camera right now. I'm renting. No, they're making a lot of money. They're making a lot of money. They can easily drop a dime and buy the camera that they're talking about. No, you should buy it, but I myself won't buy it. You know, you see the rental sticker on the bottom of the lens and the camera. Do you get where I'm coming from? Am I off base here? That's actually an illegitimate question. I'm not off base. I'm dead center. Bullseye. Dead center bullseye. Catch you later.